Hello Gemini, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your reading. This is a general reading for um, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. And first of all, I'm going to apologize for the noise because I have... Uh, someone doing work in the basement. So I apologize for the noise if you can hear that. Okay, what's going on for Gemini? Let's get some energy. We have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Wow. You know, I had a feeling. Um, See, so at the bottom we have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So Gemini, here's the deal with this. I feel like because you're growing, because you're expanding, um, I feel like someone's being very envious. Someone is really envious of some kind of success that's coming into your life. Some kind of abundance that's coming into your life. Something I feel like you've worked very hard for but somehow they feel like they should have some sort of recognition for this also. Here we have the Seven of Cups. I feel like this person is taking a look at this is all an illusion, you know? Someone's very envious of the situation. Uh, we have the Three of Cups. Maybe someone that's close to you, maybe a family member. Um, could be a spouse. But someone's very envious. I'm, I'm kind of feeling like they're kind of blaming you for their failures or something that they're doing wrong, they're blaming you for. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Someone is very... Okay, here's the deal, Gemini. You have abundance that's coming in. Abundance is finding its way to you. And I feel like this person feels like they should get some kind of recognition for your success, your something that's happening in your life that's they kind of feel left out. Yeah, I feel like they're holding some secrets from you. Someone's not telling the full truth. Hmm. Yeah, the seven of pentacles. I feel like whatever this is is coming through, this abundance, this happiness that's coming through for you, I feel like this is something you've earned. This is something that you've worked very hard for. It may be advancement at work or it may be some kind of success that you're having, but I feel like you're kind of having it on your own. I feel like when you were looking for support, I feel like this person, you kind of wanted to share your success with them. But I feel like you were kind of looking for support from this person and they really didn't provide it to you. I feel like whatever support that they were giving was all an illusion. It was just some kind of show that they were putting on. Um, wow. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like more good news is coming to you. I feel like whatever this person is feeling, whatever situation this person is going through, I feel like they're blaming you for something that did not happen in their life. So um, they kind of hold you responsible in a way. Um, but I feel like you're still receiving your good news, Gemini. Your good news is still coming in. You haven't received the full effects of your abundance just yet. 
you know, you may have a large sum of money coming through, or you may have something that's coming through that's going to be very important to your life, like life-sustaining importance. And I feel like you're kind of letting this kind of wash over you. You're not really letting it affect you. But I feel like deep down you're in need of balance. Because I feel like even though you're trying to act like it doesn't affect you, I feel like it does. I feel like it does affect you. And I feel like you're looking for balance. You're just looking for that harmony to come back about. You know? Um... I feel like this is you kind of in search of healing in some way. And I, you know, I, I feel like with this temperance and this page of pentacles, I feel like you have the need to speak up, but I kind of feel like you're going to be silent. But I feel like you have that need to just speak your truth. Yes, speak your truth. Because I feel like there's a lot coming through for you that's going to be so abundant. You're still getting good news. You're still getting more of success. More things are coming in for you. This is not it. You know, I feel like you're going to be a very, very abundant in the near future. Very abundant. And I feel like it's going to move very quickly towards you. And, you know, as your abundance comes in, as your success starts flowing, I feel like this person is getting more and more envious. I feel like they're holding more and more back. Like they really want to speak their truth, the truth that they see it. But I don't feel like you're going to feel the same way. I don't feel like it's going to be a truth that you want to accept. I don't feel like that's something that you're going to kind of absorb into your energy. I feel like you're trying to stay away from that energy. Definitely. You're trying to stay away from that energy. You're trying to move past it. This is this is some kind of situation that you want to move past. You want to leave behind. Um, you're moving past these feelings. You're kind of not even letting them affect you. With the Eight of Pentacles, you're, you're working very hard to hold your tongue. I feel like you're working very hard to hold your tongue. Because I feel like you deserve this success. Definitely. You deserve this success. You deserve this awakening this renewal this new beginning and i feel like this is just the beginning of something that is happening that is huge it's going to make you very successful if you are a entrepreneur or if you have your own business i feel like this is new hope a new project this is new renewal you know this is a new beginning and we have the devil and I feel like this is that toxic energy, that envious energy coming through. Um, this is also earth energy, uh, Capricorn. So there may be a Capricorn in your life that's making you feel this way. Um, it doesn't have to be, but it can be. Um, yeah. And I feel like it has you soul searching. This is something that you're trying to protect yourself from. And I feel like you're protecting yourself by walking away from the energy. Just not even taking it in. This is an energy that you're moving away from. But I feel like this person is kind of manifesting you walk away in a way. But I feel like this person is very... It, it may not happen the same day, but I feel like this person finally comes to the realization that they're very disappointed in themselves, that they really want your forgiveness. They really want to apologize for the situation because I feel like, you know what, I'm going to be totally blunt with you. I feel like they're being a total ass. So, um, 
definitely. I feel like they, they totally want to give you some kind of an apology. Some kind of, I'm sorry. And I feel like this apology may be sincere. Um, because I feel like they don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose your relationship. They don't want to lose your friendship. Whatever this is in your life. However it resonates. But I feel like, you know, they have bottled up emotions. Um, I feel like, you know, they have this aggression. This powerful nature that makes them want to be more powerful than you. You know, I won't be surprised if the emperor shows up. Um, but I feel like you're coming into this realization, Gemini. I feel like a lot of truths are going to come forward for you. I feel like you're you're cutting away the bullshit, you know. You're kind of cutting through it. You're hitting this breakthrough. You can kind of see past everything that they're saying everything that they're doing to blame you for their own situation for their own circumstances and you're able to move forward with success with plans with you know watching your ships come in just soaring like an eagle and i feel like that's what you're doing at the moment gemini i feel like you're soaring you're building something that's sustainable that's solid that's going to bring you long-term income long-term uh stability and i feel like you're actively building this um whatever this is for you yeah but this person still feels left out and i feel like that's the reason why they're kind of going through this temper tantrum in a way it is very childish energy um but i feel like they feel left out they feel like you're gonna gain your success and leave them behind they they feel like you know you're gonna get higher than they are and you're no longer going to need them around you know there may be some changes that are going to take place and it may be changes that either you or this person may not be seen but i feel like for you this is freedom uh for the person in your life i feel like this may be huge changes like a huge wake-up call that you know maybe i shouldn't have said that to gemini maybe you know, I pushed Gemini over the edge and now Gemini doesn't want anything to do with me. You know, but I, I feel like for you, this is freedom. For them, this is a tower. You know, very interesting. Yeah, we have the death card. I feel like you're still busy transforming. You're still busy building yourself up and creating this new person this new reality you know i feel like i really feel like you're in the building stage like you are really coming into your success you're finding your spirituality you're finding exactly what your purpose is and you are excited you're flowing through it, through it. you're transforming into this new lifestyle and i feel like this person sees it as kind of an ending um hmm i didn't really mean for this to be a you and them reading but it it kind of looks like that's what it's turning out to be okay we have page of swords i feel like you're going to speak your truth I feel like a lot of clarity is going to come to mind. You're going to understand uh, a lot of things. You're going to understand uh, that they're speaking from emotion, from envious, from jealousy. You know, they're not speaking to you directly. They're kind of speaking from their own failures. Um, and I feel like you're coming into that realization that... 
whatever they're saying is not really meant for you. It's meant for them. They're just lashing out at you because you're right in front of them. You know? Um, it, it's not fair. It's really not fair. Okay, we have write down your goals and dream big. So I feel like dream big, Gemini, because something beautiful is being manifested in your life. Something beautiful is coming forward. And I feel like no one or nothing but you can stop it or pause it. Um, with the, the pinnacles, you know, slow and steady wins the race. And you've got a lot of pinnacles in this reading. You and your loved ones are safe. So I feel like Spirit is letting you know that you have safety. You have protection. Spirit is going to let you know exactly what is going on. You know, I feel like a lot of truths are going to come to light for you with this hangman energy. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Definitely. So, like I said, I feel like you're going to get a lot of clarity, Gemini. There's a lot of things that are going to become clear. Um, let's see. I'm going to get you an angel card. Because I feel like you need to be uplifted at the moment. We have care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. So, and I feel like Spirit is saying that, although, you know, I'm not saying let somebody walk all over you or treat you badly. That's not what Spirit is intending. I'm very sure of that. But what I do feel like it's saying is that, you know, this person must be going through their own challenges, their own um, demons. So kind of take heed and let them battle out their own battles. But kind of be supportive in your own way. Don't let them beat you up or step on you or, you know, kind of push your feelings to the side. That's not fair. But try to be supportive in your own way. We have humanity and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. So yeah, have faith. Have faith that you have the ability. You know, especially while you're still manifesting. You do not want to absorb or reflect or or you know, um, put out any negative energy. You want to stay positive. You want to stay grounded. You, you know, um, your manifestations will not be able to come around the way they're supposed to if you have negativity around you. So this may be something that you want to push past. This may be someone that you may want to steer your distance from and kind of love them from a distance at a moment. Um, but I feel like Spirit is letting you know that you have protection. You are protected. Car cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. So whatever you do, Gemini, don't let this limit you. Don't let this box you in. Because I feel like that's exactly what it's intended to do. It's intended to box you in. To kind of stop your manifestations. Because I feel like this person is envious at the moment. To where they really want to see you fail. See, we have star ancestors. Yeah, hidden secrets. Lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. So, take a moment and observe. Just sit back and watch. Listen very closely at the words that are being said. Now, I'm not saying absorb the words. 
But listen, you know, when someone is saying something, someone's trying to lash out, if you listen closely, you'll see exactly what's going on and you'll you'll get the big picture. You know, I hope this makes sense to you, Gemini. And if this reading resonates, please, well, you know what? Wait a minute. We're going to get an outcome. Let's get an outcome real quick for Gemini. Let's get an outcome. An outcome, please, for Gemini in this situation. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, Gemini, I feel like you're laying down your burdens. You're not letting this affect you. I feel like you're making choices. You're making decisions. You know, she's sitting there with that blindfold on while they're kind of fighting. And she needs to make a decision. It's an important decision. Um, but I feel like there's a choice that needs to be made here. You have a choice to accept what is going on or to deflect what is going on. And I feel like you're transforming. Look at the sun. The sun is right in the distance. So whatever this situation is, it's transforming into something bigger, something better, something more sustainable, something uh, that is going to bring you a lot of abundance. You're transforming spiritually, mentally, and I feel like you're transforming physically. You will have the will of fortune. So I feel like the wheel is turning. I feel like this wheel right here, I look at the arrow. I feel like the this wheel is spinning. And they're kind of holding on for dear life, you know. So I feel like changes for you are coming in very quickly. Things are going to make a turning point. And things are going to come into balance. Um, I feel like it's going to be a very good thing for you. You just need to persevere. Keep up a good fight, Gemini. Don't give up. You're very, very close to your finish line. Look at this. We have the Ten of Wands right here. So you're very close to laying down your burdens. You're very close to your victory. So don't give up. Don't give up, Gemini. It's all coming around. And you are going to have victory. You are going to have you know, I feel like with this Queen of Cups, she's she's sitting there in victory. She's holding her cup. Doesn't that look like an award? That looks like some kind of award she's holding, you know? And she's also taking out a fish from the cup. So I definitely feel like your reward is coming. Just hold fast. Be brave. And be vigilant. Now, this is what I have for you, Gemini. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Um, until your next reading, Gemini, many blessings to you. Love and light. Thank you.